How are we all doing? Ralphie here, Ralphie Costumes. Uh, time for another vlog. We'll get the intro out of the way and then we'll have a little chat. So we're about to start our mix fucking Triumph Triple 900 swing arm with Harley running gear, full frame and swing arm. So it's a massive uh, undertaking for me. And to be fair, because of life's events, those that know me and those that follow me will know that we've had a bit of a bumpy ride just lately. Um, I'm not firing on all fucking eight cylinders. So we're going to see how we go. The DRO is not fixed on the lathe. We've got a new display. It turns out that um, my attempts at making the one I bought that didn't work, uh, work, if that makes sense, you know, I had to fuck about with the wiring and all that, and it's blown the scale on the lathe. So, uh, I need to find a replacement that's wired up correctly for the readout that I've now bought. So we're getting there, and I have, uh, I've done some practicing and some roughing out of parts, just to get me used to using dials again and taking backlash into account and fucking dip, being a proper engineer like, you know what I mean? I've relied on the digital reader for quite some time for accuracy and that ain't here now and I'm, I want to make sure that my game's good enough to make the bits for the job that I'm about to start without it. Which sounds like a bit of a whinge, but it's not. Um, so what I'm saying is, let's follow along and see how I fucking get through this shit. It's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be a really interesting one. Right. Is, this is where we're at first thing. So, bench is clear, we've had a good tidy up. That's coming off this weekend, this diner. Uh, I've got to fit the Utah. Quick update. I've not kept my videos going with this as well because of life is events. Yeah, I've not had the fucking spoons left to get into my recording mojo, but this is nearly there as far as fabrication goes. I've got to mount the Utah and then I'm going to strip it down, clean it up get it blasted and stove the frame and a few other bits and bobs and fucking shave these bits off and get it back together. So that's this weekend's, but for today, we're gonna start our mix. Triumph look, there it is. He's made it shiny and pretty and I'm like, don't bring me it like that. And I'll be welding and grinding right where it is. It's gonna not be pretty when it leaves there, but he's all right with that. Um, we've got the Triumph triple, same as mine. Engine carbs, exhaust, etc. But then we're going to fucking Harley running gear. Yeah? We've got these billet wheels and forks and whatnot that came out of my diner that we've just been looking at. Links up. Back wheels in there. Swing arms there. We've got to make it all fit. Now, I've roughed out the headstock. Yeah? So, this is fucking in bits. Look, we're not fixed it. And the bearing cups need fucking machining for the bearings a good fit actually and we've roughed out what i think is going to be part of this swing arm fitting these are going to be all machined nearly all the way out we're going to make a new spindle for for it and a tube in here and a new bush for that end and bits and bobs uh, i was waiting on the dro you see to get the finalized fucking get these machined down to size as accurately as i could do but i think we're going to do it manually so that means the first fucking, the order of operations, the first thing to do is get the lump on the frame, um, sorry, on the jig, on this bench, get the swing arm on here, bolted in place, and get everything lined up. Then I can machine the swing arm bits out to size, um, but I can do the headstock bearings anyway. I know what they are. They're just standard all at 50.2. So I think, we're gonna go on the jolly old lathe look we've got we've got this works look that works lovely but this one nothing happens look turn that handle nothing happens because this is fucked there's a scale under there that's fucked that i'm trying to get a replacement for so i'm having to rely on this dial now any engineers watching will be laughing going this is what happens when you rely on DRA's wrapper but I've had to relearn how to do this properly so no problem basic maths and a bit of common sense 
and we should get air light. Righto, so here's the fucking, here's the CAD look that we've got, it's not cardboard, it's paper aided design, here's the fucking drawing on the back of a fag packet that I refer to, and uh, we need to drill a pocket, uh, we need to machine out a pocket in the end of this for the bearing, 50.25, uh, and 12 deep, and then there's a step down, another four mil deep, out to uh, into a slightly smaller side look 46.5 i've got written there but it's just so you can get something behind the bearing and knock it out that's not a crucial size and then we bore the whole thing out to 38 so we're going to bore them out to 38 then we're going to take them out to 46.5 to a depth of uh, whatever i just said 16 12 plus 4 and then we're going to take the, the last 12 mil of it out to 50.25 see simple simple ain't it yeah we'll manage it'll be great Let's see what we can do. Right now, so so we've chucked one up and we've got it running nice and true. We've not had a clock on it. We're not dialed it in light, but we've eyeballed it because that'll do nicely for what we need. Give it a little little dab of lube because that's what separates us from the animals, and we'll get a sensor drill in like fucking so right, now we're on a pilot 10 mil pilot i've just ground this up and uh, i'm hoping i made a good job of it because the drill sharpening skills seem to have uh, been depleted somewhat recently so hmm, i think that, that'll be fine i think that's gonna chew its way through there nicely Right, now we're running through with a jolly old 22 mil. Bit of a squealer, so we slow things down. We we'll probably do with the grind, to be fair. I'm a bit obsessed at the minute, because, uh, like I said, my skills seem to be lacking, and that's not like me. Anyway, we'll get this run through. Right, and now steady away with that 30 mil. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take you on a visit. Thing. We're going to go out on a road trip. We're going to go and see my engineer, my second cousin, or something like that, Mr. Douglas. Go and visit Brian and have a fucking sharpening session. This is a fucking So we're good. Right. So we've bored that out and we set up a boring bar. This is going to be the worst bit of fucking filming you've ever seen me do. What we're going to do now is make a very light, I'm going to change that tip actually I'm just going to change that tip flip that tip over because um, it looks a bit fucking not right right now fresh tip in what we're going to do is <clears throat> take a light cut I'm just going to move it, hold on there you go, I can't fucking see so I'm going to touch on the inside yeah and now we're going to take a very light clean up pass and at the same time and I'll show you in a minute, hold on we are going to fucking zero our dial here look so that's on zero yeah so let's take a cut and then measure that so scream if you want to go faster hold on I changed my fucking feed round that I don't want it now so Back to zero. Oh, I'm bear with. Backlash, backlash. Go past and then return. Away we go. Not worried about the vibration too much, although that is shocking. Um, we'll have a measure of that and then we'll, we'll work out what we're doing. Right, we just took another quick clean up after uh, a bit of fucking about because I weren't happy with it. So. What we're going to do is, we're going to measure that, and that is 31, 32, I'm getting, the biggest I can see is 32.48, right, so, we get our fucking brain out, look, I normally do it on my phone, but you're on my phone, and we go 38, which is the size we want, minus, 32.4 we'll call it, 32.4 equals 5.6 mil to come out. Now, because 
this is direct. Look at that, I've knocked it a lot. Because this is direct, we uh, we move it off because the tool goes in. If that if you move that to one mil, the tool the tool's moved in one mil, yeah. So we then divide this by two. So divide by two equals we need 2.8 millimeters off that. So we need to move that. Sorry, we need. Oh fuck off! I'm making the right fucking mess. Right. We had a bit of a rejig, moved the tool in out and had another cut because I weren't happy. And we're, I'm getting 33.99, that's 34 as far as this is concerned. So we need 4 mil to come out of there, which is a 2 mil cut. So we're going to do that in two goes. We're going to go 1 mil, which is, hold on, bear with, struggling with my dial, I'm not used to it. There we go, one mil. I will have that out. All the way through like that. Don't forget folks, our Fuckstock stickers are now available in our Etsy store. Link in the description below. Fuck stock, you know it makes sense. Here we go, look, this should be, uh, this is a, it's two mil, the second one millimetre cut. So we've got four mil, oh, so it should be bang on 38. Near as fuck it is to square in. I'm getting showered in chips and not not the greasy potato type. Fucking hell, it's raining men on chips. Let's get off of it. I know, so what we've got actually got, we're coming in at just under. See, this is where knowing your machine and your backlashes and your dials comes into play with 37.85 which don't matter for this hole it's just a through hole light I'd like to get rid of that change I'd like to take it out 83 85.15 of a mil uh, maybe a spring pass will get us there maybe we just give the dial a nudge you know, maybe the, the thickness of the line's thrown us off and we we run through it that lot. That that might get us there look. Just a, a fuck all pass. Um and this is where I struggle because I'm used to the DRO. Anyway, that's the first cut done. We'll call that 38 all the way through. It's only the through hole, nothing critical, happy days. Right, by some fucking miracle. Miracle, look at me not today. Lift your Told you, I'd film it today. Don't expect fucking Hollywood. Right, we are bang on 38 at that. Yeah, and I've reset my dial to zero because we know that we want to hit what was it? What's the next one? 46 and a half. Fuck it, we'll call it 47. So we want to come out nine millimeters. So we need to do a four and a half millimeter cut. So four and a half millimetre on the dial should get us bang on the size that we need to be. And we've touched off on the face, we've put that cut on, we've touched off on the face, we've zeroed the one readout that works and we know that we need to go, I fucking can't remember, 16 mil, 16 mil deep, so let's just send that 16 mil. Um, and we need to go out four and a half mil so hold on a minute we're coming up look, 12 13 14 15 come on bastard 16 mils there right i will keep working this out one millimeter at a time there's two millimeters until we get closer to 4.5 and hopefully my maths and dial skills haven't let me down right we're on the last cut Really fucking fucking this up. There you go. Welcome to a day in the line. Um, this is the last cut, just a light cut, half a mil. I pointed out how fast it The chips are off. Blow in the bag then, mate. So, this should get us at that. 47, was it? Yeah, you see, it's coming in under. 47.8 so we need another point one which 
is there. So a spring pass and a light cut. Oh, see, it's where we need to be again. This ain't the bearing, this is just a relief shoulder. So I'll take that down to 16 mil. Chamfer the end of the hole. Which you can't see. Here we go, and the jobs are good. And I did tell you today's not a fucking great one, so suck it all buttercup. We've just took 0 0.02 off the end, um, and I will zero out on that 38 millimeter hole, which is about there. Right. And now we need to take that out to the bearing size, so it is proper twitchy bomb time for me. Yeah, here we go, so we now need to go 12mm deep and we need to machine out 1.65 to get us there. So let's go one, should divide it by two to do equal cuts, but we're not bothered. And we need to go 12 deep, so in we go, in for a penny, in for a pound. Maybe a bit rough actually, but I think we'll do each. 11, 12 there. Now we go 0.6 just to be on the safe side, won't we? So 0.2, 0.4, 0.6, did we go for the five? No. Fuck that. So in we go. Come on, baby. 12 mil deep. There. And then we'll have a measure and dial it in. Just check my tip which is a bit fucking soft. I haven't heard about these tips, you know. I've gone through loads just lately, machining hard shit. Right, that's 49. Here we go. 50 on the nose. 50.05. We want 50.2. So we need 0.1 for the cut, which is. Just there. Alright, here we go. Jim, if you want to go faster. Down to that shoulder. Forty. I'm that confident. I'm going to break that edge. <laughs> it's not going to be right. I'll have to go again. Somehow. 50.17 I've got. 50.17. I'll go and get a bearing. Let me go and get the bearing. Hold on. Right. Here we come. And that is not quite. I think that's true to size. And we're not quite there. So I'm going to give it a spring pass. And then we'll have another look. So just not altered anything. Just the same cut. Nice little spring pass. I should blow it out as well. Right. Still a little bit tight. That's not done it, has it? So we're going to inch. We're going to just bump the fucking dial a bit. This is where the DRO fucking really comes, really earns its money, you know what I mean? You're not guessing, well I'm not guessing, I'm looking at fucking marks like, right? but you're not trial and error in those days. You tend to hit the money a lot fucking quicker. That would nearly go, that would. Ooh, not quite though. So again, we'll just fucking maybe do a spring pass at that. And hopefully that'll get us there. Right, and that's done it. That spring pass and a quick clean up that I'd knock in there, that'd go like. So I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with fucking about trying to get it on the money. I had to take a couple more slight cuts that I'd anticipated. So the, the, I think part of it is the trouble with the carbide tooling is it don't like to take really light cuts like I'm trying to do because ultimately it's not that sharp for it. But 
yeah, that's all right, happy days. One down, one to go. I'm gonna take it out, flip it round and clean these off end up. Because much like our kitten at the moment, bless him. The back end ain't great. Send love and fucking healing jujus to our little Abe that you might have seen in one of my shorts and that he's fucking got some gastro thing going on. I'm gonna have to go on a vet's fucking run with him this afternoon. Again, he's been to the vet three times in three fucking days, bless him. He's had a stop over one night, it was that rough. So, let's clean this up anyway. Like that. Break that edge. And that, thankfully, is one down, one to go. I will, uh, I look at me shitty filming. I will review my shitty filming and see how I managed it. See what miracle prevails that we got that where we want it. Let's see how true that is. Kind of, kind of true. I'll true it up and we'll get that one done off camera. Right, here we go quickly on number two. We've bored it through with the drill bit and cleaned the hole up and we need to take 2.75 mil. So, here's one mil. Is two mil. Here's your point seven five to round it up. That's to get it down to thirty eight and out to thirty eight. Right? Okay, and here's the fucking relief for the bearing at forty seven mil, sixteen mil deep going in. This should be out. This should be. I said. I say, Sean. This. This should be out to size. To the fucking bearing if we've done everything about right our basket down the shirt thanks then cheers then thanks for coming so we'll give that a clean up with a check and see what's what sorry about hooking you up for the other time you'll learn to like it right people i've just been on a vet run because our little kitten's not very fucking ever bless him um i'm back i'm going to weld this up now we have got these are roughed out blanks for the swing arm that i've done off camera these are the bearing cups that you've just seen me make and I'm hoping they're quite tight in there so I won't force them in and this is a bit of the tubing that I use to finish the headstock off. You see me do this loads. I've just faced that off to length so that when they're in there they are, it's, a, it's the right length, it's a complete headstock. So what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to give these a fucking degrease and a bit of a scotch bright. I'm going to press them all together and then we'll get it ticked up. And the stock will be done. So there you go. Right. It took some doing. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like I say, I normally film through the week and I've left it all till Friday because all the shit's been getting in the way. Uh, and I've had interruptions doing this. And I've, I'll be honest with you. Hold on, let me switch you around. So here we got the finished headstock. If you stayed with me this far, bear with. We've got them roughed out blocks that I think I'm going to use for the swing arm. I think, not 100%. What most won't show. I need to redraw that. What most won't show is fucking, we had Bozo visit, didn't we? Which one would you like? Would you like the one with the hole that's too big for the bearing, or would you like the one with the stub that's too big to fit in the tube that finishes the headstock? So that's too small, that's too big. So I made one of these cups three times. There you go. Such is fucking life, ain't it? Is that Chris's tank's gone off. We've got a tank for it. It's gone off to uh, Danny to be fucking done. And next week, in between doing this big job, here, we're going to drop on our Chris's Iron Head Sports. So there you go. That just leaves me, as always, to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Check out the bump in the description below. And I will catch you on the next one. Yeah, lots of love, everyone. See you soon. Yeah.